Hi everyone! Welcome to another Scientific Friday! I am Teacher Janelle and I'm on a journey again to understand the different things around us. Are you ready to join me for today's lesson? Come on and let's see how science is everywhere! When you hear the word work, do you imagine manual work like having a job? How about the word power? Is it like a power similar to superheroes? How about energy? Is it like the state of feeling tired? Or active? Well, scientifically speaking, these words mean more than that in physics. Today, we are going to talk about work, power, and energy. In this topic, we will answer the following questions. What is work? What is power? What is energy? And, how are work, power, and energy connected to each other? Now, let's get ready to work. Work is done when force is applied to an object and it causes the object to move. Furthermore, the object must move in the same direction as the force. The SI unit for work is joules or J and the formula for work is force times displacement. Oops! Formula! Don't get intimidated yet. Let me give you an example. When you are pushing a chair, you are exerting force through pushing. While pushing it, the position of the chair changes from its original placement and that is called displacement. So, let's try solving a work word problem. Again, no worries, I will guide you through. You are pushing a chair with the force of 10 newtons and you were able to move it 2 meters away from its original position. How much work have you done in this scenario? Hep! Let's look at the given first. We have force which is 10 newtons and displacement which is 2 meters. Our formula for work is force times displacement. Are the given complete? Right! Let's solve! Work is equal to 10 newtons times 2 meters equals 20 newton meters. Or the SI unit for work is 20 joules. That is the amount of work you have done when you move the chair. Power is defined as the amount of energy consumed per unit time. The SI unit for power is what? or W. And the formula for power is work done over time. Let's try solving a power work word problem. But before that, always remember that when solving for power, you need the values of force, work, displacement, time, and mass. It sounds a lot, right? But we can solve it together. Let's proceed. You lifted your 5 kilogram bag 2 meters above the ground for 5 seconds. How much power did you use in doing the task? Again, let's have the given first. We have displacement which is 2 meters, time which is 5 seconds, and mass which is 5 kilograms. 
from the list of values we need before finding power, which are missing. Yes, we still need force and work. Before finding the value of work, we need to find the force first. The formula for force is mass times gravity. Let me help you. We already have the value of mass, which is 5 kilograms. We also have the constant value of gravity at 9.81 meter per second squared. Now, let us solve. 5 kilograms times 9.81 meter per second squared equals 49.05 kilogram meter per second squared or 49.05 newtons. Now, let's solve for work. The force calculated in the problem is 49.05 newtons. To solve for work, you just need to multiply this with the displacement, which is 2 meters. This will result to 98.1 newton meter or 98.1 joules. Alright, now that the values that we need to solve for power are complete, we can now use the formula power equals work done over time. Let's use the value of 98.1 joules for work and the value 5 seconds for time. This will result to 19.62 watts. Great! It is a bit of a long process, but with clear steps, you will get through it. Now, let me ask you, how come we can perform work and have the power to do it. That is because of energy. Energy is defined as the capacity of a body to do work. In this case, we're not just referring to humans, but also to objects like machines or robots. A form of energy called mechanical energy is acquired when work is done, mechanical energy has two types, potential and kinetic energy. Potential energy is the stored energy in a body relative to its position, while kinetic energy is the energy in a body due to its motion. To understand these types of mechanical energy, let's just say that you are riding a bicycle up and down a hill. As you pedal up the hill, you are expending kinetic energy because you are moving. Once you reach the peak of the hill, you stop for a while to rest. It is here that you develop potential energy. Once you start going down the hill, the potential energy that you have will be converted to kinetic energy because you are moving downward from the top of the hill. So, what is the importance of learning the relationship of work, power, and energy? Learning their relationship will help you understand how energy can affect the things around you and the environment. By knowing that energy directly affects the amount of work a body or object can do, will help you learn the value of conserving energy. I hope you learned a lot today and can apply these learnings in your daily lives. Join me again for our next Scientific Friday. And together, let us discover things around us because science is everywhere. I am Teacher Janelle for Teacher Vival. Goodbye!